Okay, YouTube, this is uh, Mac One Chase One again. Uh, still working on this one carburetor conversion. Um, I've had the H34 Pick 3 carburetor on there when it came here, and it seemed like it just didn't want to run right. And I changed different jets on it that came with the box. And then someone told me I need to switch and get the H30 Pick 3, which I did. That it was easy to adjust a little bit, but it just didn't give me the performance that I expected out of it. So I went back to the uh, 34 Pick 3, and I switched the jets around. I took the jets out of the 30 Pick 3, and I did it with a 50 idle jet and a 120 uh, main jet. It didn't like the response I led, it seemed like it was really starving for fuel. So then uh, a couple of days later, I decided to switch it over and say, what if I just increase it a little bit? So I took the same jet and I switched out the idle jet from a 50 to a 55. And I took the 120 main jet and switched it to a 127.5. Through all the uh, volume screw and the bypass screws in to start from scratch. Uh, two turns out with the bypass and two and a half to three turns with the volume. Got it to start and it was idle, it was really erratic. So what I did, I increased the volume screw to three turns. Not the volume screw, the bypass to three turns. And then it was still running erratic. I had to keep my hand on the bar to keep it running. So I went and I took the volume screw and I screwed that out. I say until it started leveling off and increasing in speed. And then I, for some reason I stopped. I can't uh, remember the count, but uh, this is it idling right now. Just to kind of get you an idle, how it's hanging steady. It'll bounce every once in a while. But other than that, it's hanging around about 12. It'll bounce up to about 13. I don't know if you can hear that rumble of it. Let me see if I can go back in the bag. It seems like it's island pretty good, normal. But I'm just uh, going to let it run a little bit. I'm hoping that it need to get used to the setting that you have on the carburetor before I decide to give it some RPMs to see if it'll take on the increase in the RPM. Because that was the problem that I was having that it would idle fine, but when you give it some RPMs, it would have that hesitation or that cutback. So I'm going to let it run like this for a little while. And also remember, if you do let your motorcycle run for a little while, get your fan and let it blow on the radiator a little bit to kind of keep it from overheating. Okay, YouTube, like I said, the same thing. I didn't do too much uh, adjusting on it. Uh, also, too, you see this lab we talked about a long time ago and I thought that I wasn't gonna use it. But what I did, I took a drill drill a hole in it and I took this and ran this into it and it's on this side of the air filter not on the outside so it's on the inside so that gas that comes from out of here goes up the tube through this housing goes into here and it goes into the uh, air clamp and what I think it is is some of the warm gases from the engine they have to keep everything kind of warm now, I see where some people have had a concern about the intake being kind of cool. And these are still kind of cool. Because you can feel the, the coolness of it as I have my hand on it. I'm going to try to see if I can make some form of a cover for it to kind of keep the heat from the engine so it radiates back down to the intake. So, you do, this is where we are at right now. 
uh, waited on this video to kind of figure some things out and do a couple of tests. But uh, this is my best solution I've came up with so far. So hang in there, YouTube. I'm going to make this thing run right. Yes, if it don't, I'm going to be a fire in the backyard. Okay, YouTube. Um, it's been running for a while. And uh, it's still idling the same way it was before. Let's see if I have any hesitation by increasing the throttle. this what I need to do now is put it on the road see how it handles when it's under uh, pressure from the gearing or it's under power and see if it'll uh, not have any hesitation but uh, but remember this is uh, how it's running with my motorcycle with the compression of each cylinder with the mileage I have I had 50,701 miles on it and other bikes may be different. This is different from um, where it's running with four carburetors because you can adjust each carburetor for the compression of each cylinder. But when you run a one carburetor, maybe that's why it's jumping up and down, up and down because one of the cylinders probably have a little different compression than the other. So, YouTube, I'm going to leave it where it is for right now until I can test ride it down the road, see if it does any hesitation. Uh, especially when taking off. That's mainly where the, the hesitation comes from. And see when you come to a stop, see does it uh, wants to idle back down and maintain an idle. Okay YouTube, again, uh, if you like this video and the upkeep of the one carb conversion and the, the difficulties, uh, not the difficulties, but the pickiness of the bike wanting to convert to it, um, like, share, tell your friends about it, tell your guys who's got gold wings. This is not a bad system, you just got to find that sweet spot. And also too, when you're dealing with the volume jet screw, don't go a quarter of a turn, go half of that, go to about an eighth. And then just let it sit and let it run for about a minute. And then after that, uh, need to give it a little bit more if it's top popping like it need more gas. Again, go another eighth. Don't go a fourth, go an eighth. Again, this is Max 1, Chase 1. I'm still chasing this one, but I haven't maxed it out yet. So hang in there with it. If you like what's going on, if your bike is doing similar stuff, just hang in there. We're going to come to a conclusion to this solution on this one cob conversion. Again, YouTube, thanks for watching. Sorry for this last ad on uh, YouTube, but uh, I wanted to bring this up. I, I forgot all about it. Uh, one of my friends uh, who work on uh, cars and motorcycles and stuff told me that uh, he asked me what grade or uh, either what octane of fuel I'm using and I told him I'm using 93 high octane and he said that that's the reason why you're burning a whole lot of gas is because Volkswagen's back in 74 that were using this one barrel carburetor uh, they didn't use 93 octane so he told me to switch it over and go to 87. So I drained the tank, went over to 87, and these are the results I'm getting because I think that the uh, octane was a little bit too high and it was burning, making it burn rich. So if you've got 91 or uh, mid-grade in your uh, Gold Wing 84 through 87 and you're doing this one car uh, conversion, drain that tank and put that 87 octane in there and see if that helps.